Hello guys, this is Stone as always. Been a little while since I managed to get a video out, but I've been busy. Uh, first of all, I'm on the 1.4.1 release. Just been checking it out, trying out the anvil here. Just to get a few diamonds and a few nice pickaxes. I've been repairing all my stuff as well. Yeah, actually, I'll repair my efficiency finally one while we're at it. How much levels that's going to take me? 25, 30, 33. No, actually, I'll just use two. <coughs> right, I'm using um, uh, what texture pack I'm using? Apparently, it's got a bit. It's a bit glitchy, but whatever. Okay, so it goes back in there. Yeah, it just eats up your levels, though. Uh, so yeah, I've got some nice items. Sharpness four, not back to fire aspect two. A power five bow. Some diamond protection. Some feather falling four. I'd rather a protection four instead of a projectile protection, but don't mind. Uh, I've got a regeneration, a strength potion, some golden apples. And yeah, just stick those away. So yeah, and some ender eyes. Some size of ender. So Alright, yeah, the main main thing I've been doing <coughs> Oh sorry, just have a celebrity. Ah, that's better. Right, so the main thing I've been doing is sort of like just Come on, thank you. Just been kitting out most of my rail works with these things here. One click on the dispenser, hop in, and another click and you're away. I just find it a lot easier to store them in those. That way when you've got a full, full inventory, you don't have to faff around and everything else. Um, yep. Yeah. Renovating that. I'm going to try and get something a bit better so I let all the guys out. Got a couple, I think, in there. Yeah, you can hear them going mad. Got a few guys in there that just sticking around being safe. Got my cows going. <coughs> and. Yeah. I've renovated this place a nice bit. So I've transformed this into a sort of a hub. That's all growing actually, I'll harvest it later. But these lines across, you can still get the view and everything else. But protected. Got a small storage area here. With our workbenches to the left and the furnaces to the right. I quite like this design actually. You've only got a small square you can access them, but it just gives it a nice feel. In the chest here. Now I've got one railroad going off that way, and I have another one going off that way eventually. So just get a minecart out. In we go. And yeah, this took up loads of iron. It was hell. Get this done. So loads of iron, loads of tracks. Now my main idea when I started this is I actually did record, but it didn't come out very well. But I wanted a sort of like a little portal here to go into unexplored territory. So I went in here, came out on a smallish island just up there, and there wasn't anything of real interest. So what I did is I actually went back to my base and I thought, right, I'll go and find the end portal. So that's what I did, linked it all up. And surprisingly enough, it actually linked up to that same portal there. Um, but yeah, I had a bit of trouble trying to um, link them all up. So the um, the two got to travel through all this, which I sort of renovated up and made it look all nice. And then the from, I just go from another portal down in the stronghold, which is over there, back into the nether. But yeah, it's a bit. I uh, tried to get it left, right, and centre, but. 
<clears throat> no, the portals just didn't link up. They were just too far away. But yeah, now all of these, I'll probably show you a bit later on, but all of these little glass things, I've, um, I'll show you on the next one. Basically, the idea is to have sort of like little viewpoints, and I didn't, um, didn't break any of the uh, natural terrain. And all the lighting, apart from that there, so almost all the lighting is done by torches, but you can't see any. As I said, apart from that one there. But I haven't got a silk touch on me, so I'll repair that one later. Again, I've left some ores in there, just to give it a nice feeling. And this stronghold is actually smack bang in the middle of a ravine as well, so it's really cool looking. So yeah, with the uh, so unfortunately it's a floating library, but whatever. Ah, he looks cool. And so here we've got the uh, end portal. I've already been in, in there a couple of times just to grab a few uh, ender pearls or the ender chest. And around here I've sort of just start picking up a small little base thing. I mean, mobs can't get through here. Whatever else. One thing I did do was break that silverfish spawner. Now I know I don't like breaking spawners but that one I just can't stand. The silverfish just get everywhere and as soon as you touch anything they're all over the place. I think there's a still. Yeah, see that one's a silverfish, right? So for those of you that didn't know, you can actually just sort of whack stone normally and it'll break really slow like that. So that's a normal block. And silverfish blocks, they go really fast. So that's how you can tell if it's a silverfish or a normal block. So yeah, there's another one there. Uh, one there, one there. They're all over the place already, and I destroyed it almost as soon as I came came across here. So yeah, and also got rid of the lava underneath because I don't like that. And I'll probably get rid of that lava pool as well. So just basic stronghold stuff around here. I block this off, and I've got a little portal here to go back. Actually, why am I loaded with carts? Stupid me. Uh, so yeah, I'll just sort of, in the end, I'll uh, get rid of all that and everything else and make it a really nice place. Uh, I've got to put a dispenser there, actually. So, right. Yeah, not much done. I mean, no redstone stuff or anything, but it took a heck of a long time. And then here. Just going back through the portal. We come back here again. So right, let's ditch those. Actually, I'll take one with me. Up. Nope. So yeah, I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish all this out. This sort of dome shape here, but with end um, with the end bricks. So I'm going to have to mine a load of those. But before I can really get anywhere, I'm going to have to go kill that damn dragon. So that's what we we're going to do today. Oh, hang on to that. Uh, that's what we got in here. Not an awful lot. Right, yeah. There we go. <coughs> so yeah, I use the dark wood along the side on the bottom. With this texture pack, it's not as dark. I don't quite like it, but the um, fatal texture pack isn't updated yet. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite nice big places here. I always seem to get a lag spike just there and get hit. I don't know why. Strange. Just have to examine that a bit more. Oh, yeah, and for the um, lighting. Oh. There, you can see I've got redstone lamps under there, which are then powered. Every so often, I've just got redstone lamps that aren't um, with tracks with power tracks over the top and then every so often I've got a glowstone with a trap over the top just to make it look really nice. Oh yeah, there's the band and mine shaft down there as well which looks really cool sort of seen from there. Now I did get stuff that's in the chest but nothing, uh, nothing major. Uh, I'm still trying to find carrots and uh, potatoes. Um, I'll probably set up a zombie spawner. I've got a few hanging around I haven't done anything with yet, so I'll put up a zombie spawn and I might sort of turn it into a carrot grinder and try and get some uh, some villagers as well out of it. Or 
we'll see. But yeah. Right, well normally the dragon fight's really boring, so what I'll probably do is I'll do a fast forward and uh, stick some music over the top. Uh, actually, no, I'll stick on the end of the chest. So yeah, we'll grab that, that. I've got any arrows? Yeah, I've got loads of arrows around here. Because that I'm going to need. Uh, get that. Get those. Do I really need spades? I'm breaking three efficiency four. I don't really want to take that with me, actually. Is there just a... I've got a normal. I'm breaking three fortune three. I'm breaking three silk touch. I'll take that one with me. Bane the Anthropos is a lot of rubbish. Oh, power five bow. We'll stick the power three bow back up in there. Number thirty three food. All right. Now, if I die with all this great stuff on me. I'm going to be really annoyed. Protection 3, protection 1, and for the falling. Alright, so grab all my arrows. Strength, regeneration, speed. Some water with me as well, just in case. Right. Now, normally you don't really need to go that well equipped. For the dragon, she is normally is fairly easy, but I'm not sure if they haven't uh, buffed her a bit in the updates. I'm just being a bit wary, and we'll see. Mm. Ah, good bit of tea. Right, and off we go.
Well, that was boring. <laughs> uh, the actual sounds they've they've added to it, it's really cool. I like the sounds that they've uh, put onto the dragon and everything, especially that end sound when she's blowing up. So, that's rather cool, but it's still just... <sighs> you just sort of stick around and wait for her to come. Once you got rid of a couple of those glowing, uh, what's the names? So, right, yep, grab that. And there we go. Right, there's the dragon egg up there. Right. Oh, have I looked at a couple of those guys? They keep... God, freaky. I'm going to make an ender. Farm very soon. Um, didn't bring any pistons with me, so I won't be able to grab that. Oh, damn it! Did I just break it? Shit. Oh well. No use. Not quite sure what happened there. I seem to have, uh, seem to have popped off. Um, actually, I don't know what happens when you chuck something through that end portal going the other way. Oh, I don't need that. Right. Aha. Right, one thing I am going to do is rename that sword, though. Go. Um, what should we have called uh, that dragon? Fanny. Oh, you got Fanny Slayer. Yeah. And we have the Fanny Slayer. All right. Yeah, let's get rid of that crap thing again. Uh, I'm breaking three efficiency for that. I'll do right. Oh, I left the door open. All right, let's get back over there and see what, uh, what there is hanging around. Uh, meat's fine. Actually, what I will do is I'll bring a bucket of lava. Now I can start making my uh, little pillow way to go down. I'll give you something to show, show you guys. Just a little tip in case you didn't know. <coughs> oh, and for the Ender Farm, I'll probably be going with Panda's design. That seemed fairly cool. Any lava buckets? Yeah, look at that. One of those. I didn't even use that regeneration and strength potion. No need whatsoever. Alright. Well, these days I have to go fight the Wither. But I haven't, I haven't even crossed any of the skeletons. There again, I haven't really been back to the Nether Fortress, so... That will explain that. But I have been slaying quite a few um, skeletons over at the grinder over there, just to make a change. And I haven't got any skulls for them either. So I'm not quite sure how you get the skulls from all the mobs. I know they're a rare drop, but... Anyway, yeah. Oh, and just for those of you that are wondering, I did go away. I did try and position the uh, way way back so that uh, it won't be too much of a problem. Oh, in other words, where you kill the Ender Dragon is where um, the portal back will be. All right, next step will be just gathering loads of uh, end stone. Filling this in. Yeah, we can go in there. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Actually, the thing is, with actually going back by the import and things, I'm going to have a trouble. Going kind of problem with my uh, minecart sooner or later. I'll have to. Uh, I have to do a couple of trips back and forth. <coughs> and we've arrived. Okay. 
So, there was a couple of things I just wanted to test out with this. So, first of all, so we've got 27, chuck that in there. That's has it disappeared or has it just... No, it's disappeared. So we've got 27, and we jump through, we should pick them up again. There you go, 55. Cobblestone. Um, I would be on this stupid platform, wouldn't I? Um, but I'll probably try and get rid of that. Where else can I go? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I think I'll be going off that way. Oh, that's a big jump. No mind. Oh, this is going to be annoying to do. I still can't get actually get up there, can I? Come here. <sighs> right. Clean all this up a bit. that way. Mm -hmm. I'll make it all nice afterwards. This is just the main structure for this thing. So get out into the void a little bit. There we go. Um, so... I will block that off just a bit. Um, hold on, no. That we don't really need. So if I stick that there, that will flow down and also it should come out there. There we go. So we've got the lava flowing down nicely. <coughs> and then once it gets down a little way, the idea oh, will be as to plonk water just here. Like so. And what that does is it makes a cobble generator. There you go. As the lava flows down, the water flows down as well. And we get a nice pillar of cobble. So I'll just leave that flowing nicely. And there's just that one or two. One thing I wanted to test out with the. Uh, Wanted to see basically how that dragon egg's doing. I should have brought the piston with me, just in case, but I think I destroyed it. With my mail clicking. Yeah, it's no longer there. Is that over there? There it is. Huh. Well, that's strange. How can how to get from up there to over here? You whack it, disappears. Where'd it go now? Is it still around? Ah, was that the thing Dog Hammer had when he duplicated his dragon eggs? It just sort of teleported all over the place. Seems to be an actual bug in the game then. Or bug. Perhaps it's a feature, not a bug. Go for a dragon egg hunt. Well, we'll hunt around for that one later. Let's grab a few of these. Put that I won't mind all that on camera. I just want to get a couple of stacks. But I'll do that later. One thing I did want to try was... What happens to blocks when you send them through here? Did they pop out? down there. Oh, there's that dragon egg. 
I don't appear to. Oh, shut up, you guys. So things definitely disappear when you stick them in there. I'm not quite sure where they go afterwards. So I've got a seven cobblestone. Still not loading that. Go in. When I pick them up straight away, as I'm going through. Three. No, they're definitely not around here. Are they at the end portal? Right, we'll just go check that out. I'll meet you over there. Right, so I got back over here, ferreted around a little bit and couldn't find any cobblestone whatsoever. So it seems that um, you can chuck things in this portal here to get it to the end, but the other way around, you just can't. So that's me signing off today. See ya.